Hi friends, today we are going to talk about how we can switch on authorization trace because lots of time in SAP, whatever you do, you need authorization. So lots of time this is very handy. If you get the authorization to do this, uh, it would be handy for the security person because that's what they do in order to know the trace, what's going on in behind the scene. So let me show you first the transaction code is ST auth trace. First thing you have to do is you activate the trace that the trace is activated now. Now what I'm going to do is I'll play with one transaction code. So let me go first to a transaction code. What I'm going to do is probably I'll go to FB03. Okay. And uh, here I will try to get a document list and I'll execute. That's fine. And we will try to go here and try to change something. So let's see whether I can change it. I'm changing this. I put this support. Uh, four or five whatever and I'll click save okay now I saved it everything is done so the changes have been made so now what I'm going to do in the meantime just as SQL trace you do deactivate the trace okay and here what I'll change sometimes this thing this time for for this system has problem so what I'll do is <coughs> I'll run it for everything and I know I executed so here if you notice there would be something 2340 I'll just flip the time and I can flip the time and here you can see there are things you can get all the information from here and uh, this is very handy and you can see you can see CDS access control display user buffer you name it you can get have it again you need to have authorization to get this that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.